Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy. I thought I'd let you know about a brand new update that Google has added to Google Docs and Slides. Charts help you display data in a visually compelling way. At work, the same chart may be used across multiple documents and presentations to help you better convey your message and strengthen your argument. If that chart changes, it can be tedious and time consuming to replace it in each and every file. To save you valuable time, Google is now making it possible to update your chart with a single click without ever needing to leave your document or presentation. To get started, we're going to look at our screen and we have a spreadsheet open with a stock prices chart that I've already created. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top of our screen and we're going to jump to a presentation. So within this slide deck I need to add a chart to this slide. So I'm going to just kind of click inside of this box. We're going to go to the top where the insert menu is and we're going to insert a chart. Now I could create a chart from scratch using one of these methods here of a bar, column, line, or pie chart. Or I can grab one from a specific sheet that I've already created. In that case, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to go from sheets. It's going to pull up our drive dialog box where I can select a specific sheet and we're going to grab stock prices and we're going to click on select. It's going to show you a preview of all of those specific charts that you have within that spreadsheet. You'll look at the chart that you'd like, select and down at the bottom right you'll see we have a box link to spreadsheet and we can import it. Once we click import it's going to put a copy of that specific chart inside of our presentation. We can just make this a little bit bigger so it's a little easier to see. And we've got that chart that's been inserted now. Now where the magic is going to occur is when we go back to that specific spreadsheet we have to update some data so maybe we change some of the numerical data or whatever is on here. Now what I'm going to do just to show you for demonstration purposes in the middle of our chart I am going to concentrate on this area on the approximate date of the 15th 17th somewhere in there of March and I'm going to pick on this blue line right here that is our high value. So I'm going to go to my data to the left here I'm going to go to my high column I'm going to go down to about that 16th or 17th date I'm just going to change this data to let's say 580. Enter and you'll see within the chart it creates that spike. Now what I need to do is go back to that presentation. So while we're in the presentation you can see it didn't update yet on our chart here. However what has been added is that now in the chart itself you'll see an update box here that I can click and once I click on update that new data will immediately be processed and add that to my chart here so now I have a live and updated version of that chart within my slide presentation. Now I can also do this with Google Docs. So I'm going to jump to my Docs tab and you'll see I have already added that older one where I have the stock prices chart already added and I'm just going to click on the update here. You'll also notice that under insert you have that chart option here as well just like we had within slides. So let's go ahead and update this one. Now I have that updated chart with that new spike that's been added to my chart from Sheets. So that's it. That's a great new feature that Google has added. So now within that document, within that slide presentation, you can now update any of those charts that you put in there as opposed to having them being an imported image or a static image of a chart that you've inserted previously. Until next time, everyone, take care, and this is Gary the Google Guy signing off.